Alright, hello everybody out there, welcome back if you're a subscriber, and hello out there to our new listeners as well. We are happy to have you listening, and this is a special edition of In Between Days where we are going to review the preview of Beyond Salem. By now, you must be as excited as I am for this spin-off series, and of course, Days of Our Lives has been doing this sort of thing for longer than maybe some people remember and that's why we're going to dive into some history as well we're going to take a very quick peek at january 10th 1992 that night one stormy night a days of our lives prime time special aired we're also going to talk a little bit about february 26th 1993 where night sins was previewed and a lot happened on that prime time special night sins so we're going to very briefly talk about that. And of course, in more recent days on the NBC app, they experimented with the Last Blast Reunion special. And also, Chad and Abby in Paris was something done more recently as well. But for now, we are going to dive in to some, some of this uh, great stuff coming up about the... Uh, Beyond Salem preview video, as I mentioned, and then we're going to get into some historical stuff. All of that and more coming up. We are about to chat some serious chowder on In Between Days, so hang on. It's called the Alamanian Peacock. It was stolen in 1991. Their gems have fallen into the wrong hands. So why do I feel there's more to the story than you're telling? We are going to find out who did this. No one is going to stop me from getting it. God helps those who help themselves. That's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Whoa! What the hell is going on? Who are you supposed to be? All right, so what you just heard, as you may have already heard, as you may have already guessed, was the audio of the one minute preview for the upcoming Beyond Salem. That starts September 6th, by the way. So after that Olympic hiatus of two weeks, we're going to get one special week where we get the regular Days of Our Lives show as well as a five i believe it might be six but i believe it's a five episode beyond salem available on the peacock app the nbc peacock app and of course we're going to run through right now what happened in that preview video and dissect it just a little bit and then we're going to get into some historical stuff as i mentioned off the top so as you just heard shane donovan is back you may also remember him as Charles, well, his real name is Charles Shaughnessy. You may remember him from the TV show The Nanny. And of course, he was on Days of Our Lives for many, many years as part of a super couple with Patsy Pease, who played Kimberly Brady. So Shane Donovan is back as his old ISA agent self. And the first thing we hear is Shane saying that the Alamein Peacock was stolen in 1991 and now apparently it has fallen into the wrong hands now that's a curious thing because if it was stolen in 1991 wasn't it already in the wrong hands by being stolen but uh well i'm sure we'll figure it out and it sounds to me like this uh this peacock has been obviously stolen and might have passed through a few a few hands and what does it all mean but it's interesting that they chose a peacock for obvious reasons but i hope it does fare better than that time that there was uh i don't know if any of you out there remember but there was this whole um elephant that was stolen and it ended up having diamonds in it or something along that lines there were stolen blood diamonds hidden in the elephant and uh i don't know that everybody was like a huge fan of that storyline it involved i think eric and a red-headed woman who right now 
Her name escapes me, but maybe it will come back to me later. Anyhow, we won't talk too much about the stolen elephant. We're here to talk about Beyond Salem. So that's how the video starts off with Shane Donovan. And it looks like he's trying to enlist John Black for this special mission to uncover what happened to this stolen Alemanian peacock. Alemanian peacock is how he referred to it. And, of course, we also see closer to the end of the video that Lisa Rena, who was the original Billy, is also back and she of course is also seemingly again working for the ISA. She's worked as an ISA agent on and off on the show. She has also been a police officer on the show um, in the days when Robert Kelker Kelly was very briefly playing Bo Brady and Bo and Billy were a super couple. They were police officers however right now it seems like billy has been back to her isa agent days and she is involved in part of this mission to uncover what happened to the alemanian peacock so it looks like shane and billy are involved in this and they are or at least shane definitely is trying to recruit john for this mission so we'll see what happens there and of course billy also just to side mention this Long before there was Gabby Hernandez and Gabby Chic, there was Billy Reed and Countess Wilhelmina Cosmetics, if any of you remember that. Anyways, the next thing that happens on this little preview video, very exciting preview video, is that Lonnie says to Paulina the words that we will find out who did this. Now, that kind of gives you the impression that that has something to do with this stolen Al Alemanian peacock, but I actually personally do not think that those two particular things are connected. We're gonna have to wait and see because of course this uh, this series is called Beyond Salem. None of them will be in Salem, at least for the most part, but they're not, all the characters involved in this mini series do not seem to all be in the same geographical place. So there's a few things happening, I think in Miami, I think uh, Ben and Sierra, I'm get getting a little ahead of, ahead of myself, but I think they are in New Orleans on a honeymoon. So they may all end up being connected, but I don't think they are all initially in the same geographical place. Anyways, let's move along. We see next that Anna Demira is speaking to Tony and she says, no one will stop me from getting it. No one will stop me from getting it. I think she is referring to the Alemanian peacock. I think uh, on some level she is after it as well. Maybe she's been after that thing for many years. Uh, there's a little bit of a history between the Demiras and the Alamanes, but not too much. We also see Kristen, or what I am assuming to be Kristen, the original Kristen, in the form of Eileen Davidson, who will be playing, I think, Kristen. It's pretty obvious that it was Kristen from the video. I know there's been a lot of speculation since there's been another actress recently playing Kristen, and Stacey Haddock did a, an amazing job playing Kristen, as well as Susan Banks. So not only did she have to take over the role of Kristen Demira, she also took over the role of Susan Banks. She did a fabulous job, but it seems for the time being, as is not too uncustomary with Days of Our Lives, it seems like the original actress is coming back at least for a short duration for the, at least for the purposes of Beyond Salem. Eileen Davidson seems like she will be playing Kristen. We don't get anything about Susan Banks, but we do see her at close to the end of the video. We see a shot of Eileen Davidson all dressed up in her sister Mary Moira gear which is another character she played on the show sister Mary Moira so it looks like we are going to get a at least a little cameo or some kind of involvement with sister Mary Moira or is it really the real sister Mary Moira or is it just Kristen pretending to be her sister uh, by the way Kristen had one other sister I believe by the name of Penelope or sorry, it wasn't Kristen's actual sister. Now I'm getting all mixed up myself. Sister Mary Moira had another sister named Penelope. So we'll have to actually see who is who and what is what as we get into this. And speaking of old and new, we're getting a new Sunny. Whether we like it or not, 
I mentioned in a previous video that I would like to think that since Justin and Adrian had three or four other sons, that they could have, instead of bringing back a new Sunny, they could have done something with uh, putting one of these other Kyriakis sons on canvas, but that's not the direction they chose to go. Apparently they want to have Will and Sunny in this uh, Beyond Salem series, and of course the original Sonny, um, I can't remember where he moved to, but he said he wouldn't be too interested in coming back again since he moved far away from where Days of Our Lives is filmed, and I guess his days of being interested in playing Sonny may be over, at least for now, never say never, because they always seem to come back from the dead and all the rest of it, but, but for now there is a new Sonny, I talked a lot about that in my last video, and the name of the actor I uh, I don't have in front of me, but I, I think it was something Tinker or Tingle or Tingler, Tinker. I guess we'll have to wait and see, or you can go back and listen to um, older videos and catch that. But of course, we're all going to find out together um, in the uh, beginning of September, right around Labor Day when this all kicks off. There's going to be a new Sunny, and Will is back, the original Will. Uh, Chandler Massey, the original Will is back, so we're going to be seeing them, and we're also going to be seeing Leo Stark, but again, I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself, so we see a shot of Will in the new Sunny, then we see Ben and Sierra on their honeymoon, I believe they are in New Orleans, as I mentioned, for their honeymoon, finally on the, uh, main show we saw that Ben and Sierra have finally been re reunited, and speaking of super couples we see Carrie and Austin a shot of Carrie and Austin and all that Carrie really says is that's the most beautiful thing I have ever seen they're looking at something at first I thought maybe it was the Alamein Peacock but it doesn't seem to be that it seems to be something else then we go to a shot of a dancing couple in something that vaguely looks like the old Horton Town Square but it's definitely not the Horton Town Square we see a couple dancing and I am not sure who they are or uh, what's going on there so we're just gonna have to wait and find out together because I can't make heads or tails of that one it's a very quick shot and even if you pause it you can't really see who that is or what it's all about and then we get a shot of the new Sonny Kyriakis punching Leo Stark of course those two Sonny and Leo have a lot of history Sonny and Leo and Will all have a lot of history Chad is also shown in the room in that shot so we'll have to see what happens with all of that but Will does end up seemingly he looks like he's holding Sonny back from getting into more of a fight with Leo, a physical fight. Then we go to Abe, Paulina, Eli, and Lanny having a meal together, possibly lunch. But uh, I don't know when it's lunch. It looked like it was lunch. Uh, they get approached by a bunch of uh, big dudes who look like thugs. And I believe Abe said something along the lines of what's going on here. So we'll have to see what's going on there I think Paulina could be mixed up in something as she often is and maybe that has something to do with it and as I mentioned towards the end we also see sister Mary Moira we haven't seen her in I believe many years so we'll have to see what's going on with her and the very last shot is an imposter Billy a man a man that seems like he's dressed up as Billy Reed maybe as a decoy something to do with a stolen Alamein peacock again and Billy says to this man that seems to be dressed up as Billy who are you supposed to be but I'm pretty sure I know who that person is supposed to be and I think it looks an awful lot like a decoy Billy so we'll have to see everything that goes together with that now when I previously talked about Beyond Salem I mentioned some of the actors that would be returning and some of the main show actors that would be on this spin-off short series but what I did not mention because I didn't know at the time is that I uh, we're gonna find out that Shane or the preview video basically revealed that Shane is a part of this. Shane Donovan seems to be a big part of this since it's all about this stolen Alamanian peacock, uh, which was apparently stolen once again in 1991. So that's what a lot of this is going to be all about. But that's exciting news that Charles Shaughnessy will be reprising his role as Shane Donovan in this uh, Beyond 
Salem series. So the last thing I want to do is get into a little bit of history just for fun. So we're going to take a look back as promised at January 10th, 1992, one stormy night and February the 26th, 1993, night sins. So what happened on one stormy night? We're not going to do a deep dive into it because that's something I may want to do at a later time. But just to give you a little bit of what was happening around the time they tried this primetime special on January 10th, 1992, Wayne Northrup had just come back to play Roman Brady. Roman Brady was being played by Drake Hogeson, who ended up reverting back into the character of John Black. Now, by, most, by now, most of you know the story of the two Romans, so I won't take a deep dive into that, but I will remind you of some other things that happened on one stormy night. One thing in particular is that not only was Wayne Northrup playing Roman and, and the other Roman, basically, who ended up being John Black after all, was still on the show, but they also used it as an opportunity to bring back the character of Carrie Brady, but this time, instead of being played by Christy Clark, who has played Carrie on and off since uh, Carrie was beyond her child years, it has been Christy Clark most of the time, and it's going to be Christy Clark again playing Carrie actually on Beyond Salem, but but um, in 1992, in early 1992, January 10th, 1992, they debuted a new carry, and that was Tracy Middendorf. So we have a different carry interacting with the original Roman on this one stormy night. And we're going to take a little bit of a listen as to what happened there between carry and Roman and also... Carrie and John. So right there, Roman is saying to Carrie, Roman is saying to Carrie that she may be confused about seeing him like this, and that's because she grew up for a lot of years with John Black, John Black uh, as Roman, thinking Roman was her father. So that's some uh, messy stuff, but she says, as you heard, I remember everything, I, I know everything, I was told everything, so he knows about the recent events at the time where Roman ended up being Roman and because he came back they found him on the island and John you know ended up being John so she has some interesting things to say when she sees John Black who she thought was her father for so many years so let's listen to that look I'm sorry about last night I was hoping we could talk then but well you saw what happened with Isabella's car and all I heard she's going to be all right. Yeah, yeah. Look, Duncan, I know this isn't right. And I know you're confused about a lot of things, but I know how you feel. No, you don't. I came back to Salem for one reason, and only one reason. To tell you how much I hate you. Duncan, I'm sure you're confused about a lot of things right now. I told now. you, I'm not confused. I know exactly what happened. My dad was kidnapped, and they sent you back to pretend you were him. You lied to me, and to Marlena, and the twins, and I'll never forgive you no, for that, Punk, never! that's not the way it happened. Just don't, don't touch me, I hate Please, you! No, hey, come on, now. I'm sure your father explained to you what, ex what happened here. I'm a victim in this, uh, you're a victim. Marlena, your father... I don't believe you. You're strong. 
You could have fought back. You could have done something. Oh, no, I couldn't. No more than your father could fight what happened I'll to him. I'll never believe look, that. Look, 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 all the rage you're feeling right now, I feel it too, okay? But I had to face the facts and the truth, and the truth was I was brainwashed. And to believe that I was Roman, Brady, but forget that. The fact is I loved you as much as anybody ever loved their little girl. Then and now, it hasn't changed. The way I felt then, the way I feel now, that hasn't changed. You expect me to believe that, Garvin? I expect you to believe the truth, baby, and that is the truth. That's crazy. Things like that don't happen in the real world. Your father and I are living proof that it did happen. No, I won't listen to you anymore. Just, just go, okay? Pumpkin, please, will you just give me a second? Yeah! Things like that. Things like that don't happen in the real world. Well, <laughs> Salem isn't quite the real world, and it would only get weirder as uh, the decades rolled on. But uh, that was a little fun look back at one stormy night. Um, I'm going to just give you a little bit of uh, what else was happening on one stormy night. So, Hope has died quote unquote died so hope is thought to be dead in this uh you know she's off the show she's killed off she will later come back she will later come back but right now we're talking about january 10th 1992 so hope is dead Bo is moving on with carly carly manning but there's something going on uh with her past and she was Oddly enough, involved with a man by the name of Lawrence Alamein. I'm not sure she remembered at the time that she was with Lawrence. That's all a little bit sketchy to me, but she had a long history with Lawrence Alamein. And of course, oddly enough, beyond Salem, the Alamanian Peacock. So that's interesting right there. Um... Jack and Jennifer had just been married. I don't know if it was the first time they were married in 1992. Off the top of my head, they've probably been married more than once. But they were uh, a newlywed couple at the time. And I don't know, I guess <laughs> Jack was uh, having some trouble being romantic and John and Isabella were uh, who, who John of course had just turned back into John because he had thought he was Roman for a long time John and Isabella are anticipating the birth of their first child at this time now you may remember you may wonder what about Marlena but I believe Marlena had been dead for a long time and had just come back so it's all very uh tricky with uh, the whole Roman slash John slash Marlena slash Isabella of course Isabella ends up being written off the show later on she decided to leave the show so they gave her um, I believe she died of cancer so that was um, you know not too great obviously of an end to that story but uh, a very well acted end to that story and uh all that but before we get too off into the weeds uh that's what i just wanted to talk about a little bit was uh the build-up and the actual happenings of one stormy night so obviously it was a very stormy night <laughs> and there's a lot of people that are being rushed to the ho the hospital the hospital's very busy um jennifer I want to say Jennifer Horton, but we just said newlyweds Jack and Jennifer, so I guess it would be Jennifer Horton Devereaux, played by Melissa Reeves, had been um, reporting in, inside the hospital about the crash, and yeah, we get we get a we get a, a whole bunch of stuff with that. I'm not gonna get too into the weeds on it because <laughs> obviously we're talking about um, Beyond Salem mostly today but i did want to just briefly talk about uh some of that one stormy night that aired on january 10th 1992 and of course february 26 1993 they try the same thing again with uh, a prime time special again called night sins and night sins was very 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 important 
um, because if we look at the character history and progression of Sammy Brady and how she became the way she is, it can all be traced back to February 26, 1993. So by February 26, 1993, Marlena realized that she still had feelings for John, who she thought was Roman for so many years and she fell in love with. Now, when her dead husband Roman came back and she found out that John was not Roman after all, she still had feelings for John and they ended up making love on a conference table. I believe it was in Titan Towers, but I would have to uh, fact check that part. I believe it was in Titan Towers. But somebody walks in on them, unbeknownst to them. The doors left a crack open and somebody sees what they're doing and that somebody who saw turns out to be Sammy and from that day forward uh, she's had a real it's not so bad these days but she had a real real big problem with John Black for years after that and a lot of uh, a lot of stuff a lot of baggage Sammy still carries around from that very day it, it was only like in recent years that she kind of got past that and is okay with John and Marlena but for years Sammy went on a tirade a crusade just based on that alone um, but now she's cheated so many times herself that I guess she doesn't really have any leg to stand on for criticizing others <laughs> so that's kind of been uh, faded over the years uh, they, they were also doing a Face of the 90s contest where I believe it was Bella Magazine was trying to find a Face of the 90s. They just recently redid that story where Sierra and Claire were battling over who should be the, the Face of Bella Magazine. But this was the original Face of the 90s contest and Carrie finds out that she is a finalist. And Carly was leaving the country with Nikki and Lawrence. And Jennifer was uh, dealing with some kind of manuscript. That, this part I don't remember, really. Uh, Jack and Billy had some kind of manuscript, and Jennifer took it back. And what is that all about? But anyways, next time we'll be talking about what happened this current week going on right now. We're going to review Monday all the way to Friday, Days of Our Lives. But uh, I just wanted to let you know that the preview video had come out and I wanted to have a little bit of a conversation about it and a little bit of a fun chat about some of these past, past episodes of Days of Our Lives, past special episodes, including One Stormy Night and Night Sins. And of course, we also had, as I mentioned, The Last Blast reunion a lot more recently and Chad and Abby in Paris a lot more recently as well. But unless... And before this gets too long-winded, I'm going to wrap things up. I just want to let everyone know that I will be covering Beyond Salem as well as the normal uh, main show, Days of Our Lives. So thank you for listening to In Between Days. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe this video if you subscribe to this channel if you like what you hear that's a great way to support us and uh, share the video with everybody that you know that is a fan of Days of Our Lives and even if they're not a fan of Days of Our Lives this is a good way to maybe get some new viewers hooked um, it's a good way to get new viewers um, you know in the United States um, familiar with the NBC Peacock app and I don't know about international viewing, but I am here in Canada, and there is going to be a way to watch... I was about to say in between days, but there is going to be a way to watch Beyond Salem on the global app in Canada, as well as a, another alternative way. So whatever works for you, and we're going to talk about it here, and I hope that everybody is having a great week, and we're going to be back by sometime over the weekend to talk about the main show probably on Friday or Saturday we're going to talk about the main show and I'll have a video posted that reviews all of that and if there's any more news about comings or goings or breaking news about Beyond Salem then we're going to get it to you as well talk about it 
And if you have anything to comment, please comment below. We love comments. We love comments. And we will see you next time. And thanks so much. If you made it this far especially, thank you so much for listening. And uh, maybe we'll have a little bit more historical talk now and, ag- now and again about uh, things that happened in the past on days. And if you would like to hear more of that historical stuff, let me know as well. Because you help shape the channel. I'll see you guys next time. This might be the longest episode yet.